What's up, guys? This is Matt from American Patriot News. Right next to me is Romeo. And today we have an article for you guys. It's from the Gateway Pundit. And it's about the uh, judge that's in the uh, fraud case for Trump in New York City. He has denied the bid for a mistrial. Once again, giving Trump bad news. This is Engron, right? The uh, yep. complete and total piece of uh, you know what. Far left Judge Engron denies Trump's bid for a mistrial in New York City fraud case. Far left Judge Arthur Engron denied Trump's bid for a mistrial in the New York City fraud case. President Trump's lawyers went on offensive offense on Wednesday and asked the judge to grant a mistrial in the civil fraud case brought by New York Attorney General Letitia James. Trump's lawyers argued that the fraud case was tainted by bias. Radical Marxist New York Attorney General Letitia James is seeking $250 million in damages when there's no victim in this fraud case, and she's also seeking to ban Trump and his sons from operating any business in New York. Judge, Engr Judge Engron has displayed bizarre behavior in court by smiling for the cameras. He's also shown clear bias against Trump and recently expanded his gag order to Trump's attorneys. Engron denied Trump's bid for a mistrial on Friday. The judge in Donald Trump's civil fraud case denied his bid for a mistrial Friday, rejecting claims from former president's lawyers that the proceedings are poisoned by political bias. Well, that's a fact. Trump's lawyers had argued that Judge Arthur Engron irreparably harmed Trump's right to a fair trial through astonishing departures from ordinary standards of impartiality. They cited his rulings against Trump, the prominent role that the judge's chief law clerk plays in the court, the clerk's political donations, and what the defense called Engron's appearance of impropriety. In sharing articles about the case in his high school alumni newsletter, Engron declared Friday that the complaints were meritless. A New York appeals judge on Thursday temporarily lifted New York Judge Arthur Engron's gag order on Trump. Appellate Judge David Friedman stayed Engron's gag order, citing Trump's First Amendment rights. In late October, Judge Engron put Trump on the witness stand after he blasted the former president and accused him of violating the gag order with his remarks to the press. He also fined Trump $10,000. I find this amazing. Uh, first thing, you're asking the judge, that is the reason it's a mistrial to actually call it a mistrial? <laughs> right. I think this is more procedural yep. from yes. Trump's attorneys. It's like something they have to get on the record for the appeals court. But yeah, there was a 0% chance chance Judge Engeron was going to give it to a mistrial. He's clearly not fair, and he's clearly biased. And neither is his wife or his whole family doing these memes on Twitter and everything else. I mean, I'm sorry, but, you know, uh, I agree with what most people are saying, especially Laura Loomer. This guy is biased towards Trump. If anything, you should have an actual jury not this judge deciding Trump's fate in this in this courtroom. But instead, New York City uh, and this uh, attorney general got away with uh, not having a, uh, a jury and having only a judge deciding his fate. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? I mean, you would think that when you're talking about a quarter of a billion dollars, there'd be a jury involved. But of course, no, we can't get a fair hearing Trump can't get one in New York, and he won't get one in D.C. either. So it's sort of like they're stacking the deck against them. Well, it's exactly like that, because that's what it is. But what we've seen is this appeals court might actually decide to side with him. Just perfect examples of gag order. But we're going to have to wait and see, because they're going to have to go up the chain on this one. But guys, this is the end of the video. We really appreciate it. Please hit that like button, comment, and share this out to everybody. Please turn the notifications bell on. That way, when we make new material, you'll be aware of it. We'll be live tomorrow morning at 930 Central Standard, and we've got an awesome show set up. So please join us and have a wonderful rest of your day.